Welcome back to part three of Raz Let's Play Crystalis. You may notice a little discrepancy between my experience and, and health and magic in the last part. I had an issue with the game save and had to backtrack quite a bit to get to this point again. But I have my sort of wind equipped and tornado bracelet ready to face the first storyline boss, General Kelvesk. And you'll notice also I have this very valuable magic ring that I had to use in the last episode. I got that back and held on to it for this battle, and hopefully I won't need to use it. So let's charge up to level 3 before we enter this fight to get a quick cheap hit in. He's one of Dragonia's finest four, one of the elite four. So he shoots these little shells at you. So I'm going to use the magic ring for safety. And we're done! It's not even a fraction of his power is throwing rocks at me. Next time I see him will be the last time. Boy. It's nice of him to leave a treasure chest. So now we have the frame flame bracelet. So now we can do a charge level 3 flame attack, which is a fire bouquet. So we got the key to the prison in the last episode, so that we can open this door. Inside we find the elder that we got the Sword of Wind for in the first epi episode. Cannot talk today. The Queen in Portoa has strange powers. Buddy, you don't know the half of it. But someone reaches me but via telepathy. I'm going to be taught the magic of paralysis. I assume this is Zebu. It'll cause people to fall asleep and paralyze most monsters. And it'll be useful in the next town, he says. And he ain't kidding. So since the queen has mysterious powers, let's go pay her a visit. Yes, I am the one who climbed Mount Saber. Apparently I'm legendary already. Oh, it's late. She has to go. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh. She doesn't want to see anyone today now. Oh, okay. Oh, a fortune teller. Looks kind of familiar. See the queen. My way will be open. So she asked me if I'm, you know, getting used to the town, and then, okay, bye. Essentially, we have to do this a, a few times until we get an item from her. My way will definitely be open this time. I mean, she didn't lie before, it was open. Just sent me right back home. Come closer. Oh, well, the queen wants to be an adventurer. Oh, but it's late. Oh, too tired for adventures. And she just says the same thing. Don't be shy. The owner of the boat rental shop is kind only to his daughter. Oh. And one more time. I'm 
said I enjoyed talking with you. The food Jeline cooks for me is very good, but alas, her manners are not. Oh, Evans is going to teach her some manners. And, oh, sent home again. This should be the last round. Well, this doesn't seem to be going very well, so... You know what? I'm tired of this. Quiet, you. She is not here. I thought she just didn't want to see anyone. Hmm. Interesting. Where could she be going? Didn't even try to stop me. Just block the door. Okay, guy, you got one over on me. Now, on your way. Oh, did you know there's a cave behind the northern waterfall? No, nothing of the cave behind my palace. Go there, I'll give you the Flute of Lime. Mmm, refreshing. So, hint a dee, hint hint, we might need that Flute of Lime if we decide to, I don't know, go to the super secret cave behind the waterfall. Let's see what equipment that we can afford right now and make it a little bit easier. Bronze armor is about all we can afford. Stuff starts costing at least a thousand now. And there's no reason to hold on to stuff after I've already bought an upgrade. So I will just sell the leather armor. These guys are immune to fire, though I don't think they're immune to wind, but I'm just going to let them be. Straight to the waterfall cave up here. Creepy music, creepy music, creepy music. I think this is the theme song whenever I see a spider. So we don't need to worry about balls anymore, since we have the level 3 bracelets to switch swords. And these guys can also poison- oh, our first encounter with uh, a mimic. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to call them mimics though. And they're immune to everything that we have, but they can be paralyzed. They're good sources of money, and I don't believe they are good sources of experience. And they hurt. So there's these two stone guys that are here, and if we play the Flute of Lime, it turned to normal. He was looking for a fog lamp, but it wasn't here, so it must be across the river, he says. That would be nice to remember, in case we ever need a fog lamp. These guys are immune to wind and fire, so we have nothing to use against them.
Oh, look, another stone guy. Wait, wait. Is that Akahana from Bryn Brynmar? Hmm. Too bad I'm all a lot of lime floats. Oh, another one. People of stone return to normal. I'll give you this, but now we're even. It's the shield ring. This will reduce the amount of damage that we take from enemies. Really handy. And missable. Not permanently. You'd have to backtrack to get it again. Oh, I'm stone. And none of the status effects are permanent. They will wear off. I believe that's the last Flute of Lime that we get. If we need to cure ourselves of paralysis, we need to use the Fruit of Lime. Do you think that was a uh, transliteration mistake? Flute versus Fruit? It's actually kind of fun. Never made that connection before. Sword of Water, not given to us by an elder. Hmm, refreshing. Hey, now we can attack these guys. And ice cubes fall out, not water droplets. So really, sort of ice. are fairly easy to deal with from a distance. They're like Medusa heads. They have little snakes. They are snakes, and they have snakes for hair. That's so meta. What if that's how they reproduce? They just kind of butt off. Snakes and spiders. I'm going to grind up to level 8 now because this is a fairly convenient place to get some gold to buy new armor. So I'll see you when I'm level 8 outside the cave. Okay, so now I'm outside of the cave, and now we can actually damage these wolf men. And I got poisoned on my way out of the cave, so let's take care of that little problem. Let's tell the queen. Oh, I can't. Someone will wait for me at the lake in the south. Alrighty then. Haven't seen the lake in the south yet. Let's check it out. More poison mud.
I'm the legendary one with the sword of water. This is Rage, or Rage, protector of the sacred lime tree. Now it's gonna give me the ball of water. And someone named Mesia is in the tree. That's like the quickest turnaround on getting the ball versus the sword next to the fire sword involved. And once again, the Sword of Water creates ice. So it's really the Sword of Ice. And it's a hologram. I'm supposed to catch up with her in Dragonia. And nothing else to say. This is a pre-recorded message. For directory assistance, please press 1. Or, if you know your party's extension, please dial it now. Well, now that we have the ball of water, there's a few handy things that we can do. We'll need a little bit more money first, though. But anywhere you see the water rippling, you create a bridge. It's gonna grind a little bit more money. I think I have a good reason for it. Trying to get to 1800 gold. it again, so now I need 1900. I suppose I just go to the end and run more, so 20. Should be only twenty gold. We're no longer poisoned. No, I just wanted to take a look at armor costs in Portella. Notice that we can get the platinum armor for two thousand or the platinum shield for fifteen hundred. Now if I go to Brynmar, so fifteen hundred for the shield, or two thousand for the armor. Oh, water ripples. There's a town here. Could buy the Platinum Armor for 1800 instead, or the Platinum Shield for 1300 Much, much cheaper. Although the Mirrored Shield would be a great bet, but we'll just deal with the armor right now. So we just saved 200 gold. Now this town is interesting, 
Aril is the leader. This is Amazoness, or Amazones. It's basically an Amazon village made of only women. It does have... It's not an Easter egg, it does have plot significance later on. And now we can always quick travel there. So back to Portola. So let's check out this cave behind the Queen's throne room one more time. So we need paralysis to stun the guard. Oh, it's the fortune teller's house. Looks like someone has a secret. It's time she tell tells the truth. The fortune teller is really me. Well, who's me? Are you the queen? Are you the fortune teller? She's Asina. One of the three great wise men. Dolphin in pain. I don't like dolphins in pain. Oh. So you give Flipper the medical herb and then he'll let me call him whenever when I'm in the sea. The shell flute. Or is it the shell fruit? How do we get to the sea? Oh, his father lost the fog lamp. Wasn't there a guy in that cave that said the fog lamp was not behind the waterfall, but across the river? Well, we can cross rivers now. So, next time we're going to go get the fog lamp and start riding the seas on Flipper. See you then!